okay so we got a question right here there are four forces acting on an aeroplane in flight as shown okay the lift force is perpendicular to the wings the chi to change direction the aeroplane banks so that one wing is lower than the other the lift force is then no longer vertical the aeroplane flies in an horizontal in a horizontal circular path at a speed of 52 meter per second the diagram below shows the aeroplane banking at an angle of 20 degree to the horizontal okay show the that the radius of the circular path is about 1800 meters mass of the aeroplane is 1200 kg speed of the aeroplane is basically 54 meter per second okay so we are basic i'm gonna basically gonna draw this first okay and then i'm gonna explain what is happening actually so you have basically this is your horizontal dots right and then you have your aeroplane at 20 degree angle right and this is your lift right this is your lift this is your l this is your lift this is your plane over here right and then you have weight which is downwards acting this is your weight and then let me draw the components i'm going to use the head to tail rule right remember that this is your first line right okay your second line should be starting from the head of the first line right and it should go like this right and your resultant should be from the head of the first line to the tail uh, to the uh, sorry first line's tail to the second line head right so and it should be opposing in motion right so these two should be in the same motion and they should be in opposed motion right so basically and this is our angle which is 20 degree again right this is your sine theta l sine theta and this is your l cos theta right over here is cos theta opposite of the angle is basically sine theta every time okay so now we know that this is our circle right this is our circular motion because the plane is going in circular motion or circular centripetal you know force is happening you know is going in circular motion so this is our plane basically take this tip and this is your 20 degree right here right and then this is your horizontal basically it's it's l sign is basically indicating the lift time sign is basically indicating lift time sign wait a uh, lift l which is sine theta is basically indicating that it is going around the circular motion right i hope it's making a little bit sense to you in this way or you can make it like basically i can make another circle right i can basically say this is your 20 degree angle outside right right and this is your plane basically this is your sine theta right we are dot every this this same thing right here right and this is your l sine theta your lift sine theta right basically it's basically pointing towards the center of the cent circle right so it's basically going in the circular motion so we need to find this l sine theta right this is the main thing we have to find to find it we need l which is lift right we, we need to have lift value right so we can find i can see that we can find lift value from l cos theta is equals to weight because they're both equal right it's not flying upwards or downwards it's basically going in a circular motion right so they must be equal right so l cos theta is equals to weight right they are in horizontal basically their vertical components are co uh, constant right they're not going up or down they're basically going in circular motions right so your l is equals to w by cos theta right and as we know w is equals to mg by cos theta right we have been given angle we have mass which is 1200 kg we have been given gravity which is at the end of your exam paper which is 9.81 right so let's input the value which is 1200 times 9.81 right divided by cos at the angle which is 20 degree right your angle 20 degrees so you find your lift as your value of lift is basically one two five two seven point five oh oh seven four and blah 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 okay so this is your value right make sure not to round it off because we need accurate value right so if you round it off you might find your value you know basically not that accurate so use the same value 
Now we can find the L sine theta, which is basically indicating that it's going in circular motion, right? So your L sine theta, now we know that L sine theta is also centripetal force. As I, as I said, you know, this thing is basically going in circular motion. So we can write it also as in centripetal force, you know, it's equal to centripetal force, you know. So our L is basically 1, 2, 5, 2, 7 times 5, oh, oh, sorry, 0. 0.5, 0.5, O seven four and blah 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 and then you have your sine theta which is times sine which is 20 degree your 20 degree right here right equals to centripetal force formula I just told that this L sine theta is indicating that it is pointing in the center of the circle right so basically it's going in cent uh, circular motion right because of this component we can go in circular motion right so we can basically equal them to uh you know centripetal force which is m v square by r right so this m v square we know m is 1200 we need to find basically the radius we have been given v which is 54 meter per second right uh, and you have been 1200 kg right okay so let me write it again one two five two seven point five oh oh seven four times sine theta sine 20 sorry is equal to mass is 1200 times we have been given speed which is 54 square right and then you need to find your radius right so your radius once you calculate all of this stuff right your radius is basically gonna be 816.6816 basically yeah 68136 and blah 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 your you know your value after that meters right I can see from the question that my values are basically either given in two significant figures yeah basically in given two significant figures right or three significant figures you can write max right because he uh, asked in 800 right 800 meters so you can basically write the round off value as 817 you can write it around it off because they didn't give any decimal in any of these questions so no need to mention this decimal right you can just round it off and you can get your 817 basically meters okay this is your final answer